Welcome back to the Tarot Temple one more again for work, money, and a romantic guidance. I hope you are doing well. Um, before I begin, I want to thank my new subscribers for making the Tarot Temple their home for personal development, for spiritual enlightenment, and for growth, elevation. Okay. I um, also want to thank my regular subscribers, those who come on a regular basis, if not every week and get their forecast i thank you so much for being in the number without youtube the tarot temple could not exist all right and i just want you to know that i am very grateful for you um also before we begin i want to remind you that if you have not pulled a birth chart a natal birth chart you need to do that you newcomers you need to know about getting a natal birth chart you can get that for free you just google free natal birth charts in google and Something will come up, okay? Take your choice. Um, it would be good to know the exact time of birth. That way, your native birth chart would be accurate and not general, okay? When you come to the temple, you should be viewing at least a minimum of three videos, okay? And if everybody does their job, that'll put everybody in the premieres, pretty much. I would have to raise the bar. Yeah, um, but you need to be viewing at least three vids for your sun, moon, and rising. Everybody pretty much knows their sun. Not everybody knows their moon and rising. That's why you need that natal birth chart. So I suggest you get it right away. Okay? So you'll know what three vids to watch. Okay? And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling and getting ready um, for this week's work and money. I don't know if that's for you or not. <laughs> but I'm going to put it on back in the stack. And I, I hope that um, the message is what you want to hear. But if not, please don't shoot the messenger. Okay, I'm just a meteorologist of tarot. I do not know what's getting ready to come out. Um, you will have to check the description box and connect with me via email at spiritspeaks at outlook.com and book a reading. That way you will know what's specific to you, okay? And you also need to know that readings can run in cycles. You need to know your cycle, learn your cycle. Yes, it takes time. But if, with a little practice, you can master this science. You can master this art, Okay. So you also need to know your cycles, okay? You also need to know what houses that your messages are in. That's why I said it fits. Please knit your storyline together. You are creating this beautiful quilt that you're going to take with you one day when you leave this earth, okay? And that quilt is called your personal life saga. It tells your story. That's what quilts are. They are really like stories. Those women that create those quilts, they're really telling a story. And they get fabric from different places, okay? They each tell an intricate story about something, their history, their life, something, okay? That's why quilts are so special, just like charms. You know, charm bracelets and stuff started because people were telling the story about where they've been and what they've done, okay? Same thing here. So, um... You can always come back to the temple and re-review vids and so forth, especially if something nudges you to. So you got to get in the game. You got to you got to not, okay, in order to shop, okay. I'm <laughs> just saying some shit. Okay, so your external energies is dealing with Mars. You're dealing with the Pentacles or the Diamonds of Mars. Internally, though, you're dealing with Saturn and you're dealing with the clubs or uh, the staff of Saturn. All right, Mars and Saturn, external, internal energy. Okay, and this is pretty, it's fun and serious energy, okay? It's fun and it's serious, you know, accomplishing your goals. You have a lot of passion here, you know, um, you're putting your energy into making things happen, right? Into building, okay? Into creating, 
You know, I don't know if this is for now for your future, but it's definitely something that you're passionate about, maybe even love, you know. Um, I'm also hearing muscle, all right? So you're putting a lot of muscle into this and making plans and building your future. But internally, you may be wrestling with yourself about something or, you know, for one, um, about... Um, may be rules, policies, guidelines, or anything that may be restricting you, you know. But then also, this is about the excitement and the energy to learn as well. Maybe you're going back to school and you're learning a new discipline or you're taking up a trade, or maybe you're learning something on the job. Okay, for some of you, um, this is taking on a whole new attitude. This is going to shift you into a different level in life, okay? Some of you, I'm hearing dimension, okay? So you may be in 3D right now, but after this experience here, especially with Saturn, you'll be elevating to the fourth and the fifth dimensions, okay? That's what's going on here. Growth and development. Development and growth. Okay. Um, I'm hearing this very lovely. Whatever this is. You hype. You're sizzling. You're ready. Because you're ready to complete something. You're ready to have something. You're ready for that shift. For the next chapter in your life. Well, let's see what kind of moon energies or the mood you'll be in. How does it back up this line up? This planetary line up, this source. The talented ones and cup barriers. What is the moon energy? What's going on? How would they feel? How would they follow through? What they need to work on? And you have the hair. Okay. And the hair says it is an auspicious time for new beginnings. Didn't I just say that? You want to shift. You want the new thing. It's time for a new beginning. It's time for it. You see, look. Fertile too. You fertile too. And this also, this hair also looks to me kind of somewhat, I'm seeing a beaver for whatever reason. And you know, they dig and build too, especially when the storms come, when it's uh, terrain, I guess is what I'm saying. When the weather is kind of tumultuous, they build out of that. And, and, and Mars is a very assertive energy, you know. Sometimes it can be tactless. You know, but there is a lot of diligence here. Whatever it is, you're being very diligent about it. Because you know it's time for your new beginning. So you got to get in the game, right? You got to get in the game. You got to get in the game. All right, now, let's go ahead and see what this forecast is going to say. How would this going to line up with these planetary and moon energies, okay? How you feeling about it? Just how you feeling about it. You feel like it's time for new beginnings. All right, I was telling you that before I even pulled that card. All right, let's see what's going on, this source. What's going on for talented ones and cup barriers? What's going on for me? Talented ones, cup barriers. All right, overall, we have the energy of justice. Based on the five of cups, you can expect the lovers. Stemming from the Queen of Wands. The outcome is the Eight of Swords. Ooh. Underlining energy is the Page of Pentacles. Okay. 
I got my eye on you. You know what? It, before I saw this, I was that's what I was told when I saw the Queen of Wands. She's keeping her eye on you. This could be male or female energy. It's just consider feminine energy because of the actions that's being taken. Okay, we all embody that masculine and feminine energies, okay? Um, but I got my eye on you. I'm watching the time. Or maybe you just have to keep your eye on the time, okay? There's some type of irritation going on here, but it's creating something. Whatever that irritation is, it's 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 creating something beautiful. It may even be simply just developing you into a precious jewel, okay? Yeah. It's got something to do with the community. I don't know if it's your home, where you live, or where you work. Okay. Definitely some type of connection here. All right. And it's stemming from the Queen of Wands energy. This is, I, I told you I keep my eye on you. She's, this Queen of Wands keeps tabs. This Queen of Wands. It's considered a beauty, a very handsome, or let's say very appealing, sexy individual, okay? Undeniably, hands down. And it's all kinds of queens of wands, all kinds of calibers, okay? However it fits. But it's like they want to pin you down, or they want to... Know where you are all the time, okay? Something about a reflection, okay? They reflect on you. Or you reflect on this person. But they reflect on you. Beauty is 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 very important here for some reason. How you look, how they look, is something about the beauty here. And I feel like something about this beauty is veiled, is covered, is not. It's a, it's more to be seen. Some, I feel like something is being covered or hidden when it comes to this Queen of Wands. And it has something to do with looks, beauty, glamour. Okay, that's just some side notes. But this is somebody who can make shit happen in the material world. This is the material goddess. This is the goddess who got it going on, got everything you need carries everything in their purse but the kitchen sink. This, the Queen of Wands the Queen of Wands is taken care of. The Queen of Wands doesn't necessarily have to ask for anything. She gives. Okay? She aids. She helps. Okay? She also has tricks up her sleeve. She know how to use, use devices to get answers. Uh, like I said, for even some of you, she'd be spying. To use devices to spy. Okay? She may be using things that can reflect. Like lights, mirrors, uh, belts, shiny belts. Anything that can reflect something where they can see like images. Your, 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 your silhouette. You know, I don't know why that's important, but somebody's keeping their eye on you. They'll be watching for you. They'll be watching you. Maybe this is, you know, watching you on the clock. 
watching you when you come home, while you're at the house, at the neighborhood. I don't know. But it's, it has something to do with this Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is a separation. Feeling outside the norm. Feeling outside of everybody else being pushed away. Or just avoiding whatever's going on outside. Or whatever's going on, you know, at work. You're avoiding it. You don't want to be bothered with it. You're over it. You're done. Some of you, there's some heartache, some heartbreak with this. But you're done. You ain't studying it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't studying it. You ain't being bothered. Some of you, it's because of this having to be watched all the time. Maybe that's just part of what's going on in your job, in your community. Maybe you are online. And you've been having the ability to do some things, to do some clever things. Because of this time away, because of this splitting apart, What's the reason, dear source, for this Queen of Wands and the Five of Cups? Now, for some of you, it, I'm getting appeal, and this energy is dealing with being appealing or an appeal. Okay, something judicial. It's going on at work or whatever, but some type of appeal, underlying energy is a this attractive energy. Maybe dealing with this Queen of Wands. Okay, the reason for the Queen of Wands and the Five of Cups is the Seven of Swords in the universe, and the Seven of Swords deals with trying to get something across to somebody discreetly, or it could, this person could have tried to be slick about some things. Because they know that you stay alone, that you mind your own business, that you're in your own bubble, or even that you got that you coming out with something, that you're gonna debut something. To pick pick whatever fits, okay. Some of you you have the ability to handle a lot of things at once. You know how to keep people out and away from you. That's in this Five of Cups right here. You focused on you. You in your own world, in your own bubble. But for some of you, something was said or expressed that it was like you it just had you where you you needed to be left alone. You had to be left alone. Some of you, whatever it is, it brought you to tears, it made you sad. But it's definitely about getting some across. And it's just like, you know, I'm just gonna do me. I'm just gonna do me. Okay. And I'm also hearing schedules. Whatever this is, it's got something to do with some schedules. I don't know where yet, but it has something to do with some schedules. Okay? But when it comes to this appeal, I do know for somebody, this is something that you have to appeal something at work. It may be legally for something personal. I don't know. But your overall energy is the justice card. And that is making a justified decision based on facts, not fiction. What is put, put before you. What you've been told that you believe is the truth. This is, you know, balancing a situation, making what's right, making what's wrong right, making it right. That's what's going on this week with work, money, and romance. Making it right. Stemming from the other woman. Based on a separation. 
that you've been watching out for, you've been keeping tabs on, you've been paying close attention to this. Because this is definitely about romance right here. Some of you, it happened in your neighborhood, in your community. Okay, because here we have the lover's card. And what appears to be a mishap actually is divine. Whenever the lovers show up, it's by divine order. God is in the chaos. Sometimes we don't understand it. You know how sometimes you be like, why would he be with her? But what we don't understand is women is it's something about her that he see that we can't see. That we can't tap into. Okay? Because it's not always about looks. There are some men who are really about the woman. It's something about the woman. And you know what I've heard men say before? You, you just don't understand it. Because see, we as women, feminines, we look at it as looks and things like that. Some, some real men, they got this connection. They see beyond that. There's something deep in the soul. It's a soul connection. It's a mishap. It was a mistake. How did this happen? It's by shock. This person is very appealing. This is what's going to happen to you this week. In some community, in your community, online or in the physical or at work, it's going down. Somebody's going to be tongue tied. Some of you are even going to be in that mood for that type of physical connection. You're going to be feeling that. You're going to be feeling it. You're going to be sensing it. You can feel that energy. Okay? And this is all about doing it at the right time, connecting at the right time. If it's online, then it is a certain time, right? Somebody's been away and had time to think. Some of you, this is based on a separation. Or it's going to be one. Okay? Some of you are wondering if this is the right time. You're judging this. Is this, is this time? Is this the right thing? Somebody is involved. There is a third party. The Queen of Wands is often looked at as the other woman. Whether it's you or they got someone else. I'm telling you, for somebody, some of you love is coming out of this. This is going to be love. This is definitely going to be love. This is this 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 has to happen. This is a meant to be. It is heavenly divine order. Just as it's here, and something is getting ready to be settled. The universe is getting ready to balance this energy here. For whatever reason, it's important. Don't ask me. I was given this world. I didn't make it. Okay. Tupac. But somebody was trying to get something across to you. They was trying to do it. I don't know if they were trying to be clever. If they were trying to be discreet. Or if they were trying to be slick. It could be either scenario for different people in this house. Because you were too... You kept people away. You stayed to yourself. You was very focused on you. The universe deals with preparing for a debut. Preparing for a graduation. Preparing for a launch. Getting ready for a feature. It's something. Getting prepared to premiere. That's the reason. What's your outcome is this eight of swords. Okay. And this is feeling stuck. Or just staying where you are. Until you can figure some things out. Based on this separation. Based on feeling left out. Based on feeling abandoned. Feeling somewhat lost. Feeling hurt. Okay. I'm just going to. Stay put. 
Some of you, this is mental confusion. Like you're just feeling stuck. You're not really confused, but you're kind of confused in a sense because you're stuck. You don't know which way to go. But justice is here. A decision will be made. A decision has to be made. And it's karmic. It is here. But it's justifiable karma. This has to be done. This is like heaven. The angels are setting this in place to be done. Because everybody needs to be where they need to be to get things done. Okay? But you're going to meet this person at your community. This is... A, but I'm telling you now, there's somebody else in the picture. And this is while at work or while they're working or something. You know what I say? Work is everything. Okay? If you're going to the grocery store, that's work. It could be the person at the grocery store that's working. The clerk, the manager, I don't know. But it's going down. It's because somebody had to take some time to themselves. I don't know if they were forced to do it. If you just decided that was what you was going to do. But now you're here where a choice has to be made. But it definitely got something to do with, the, with an attraction. It's here in this underlining energy here. And it's here in this Queen of Wands. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and find out what's going on. In terms of the summary, what is this going to be like? While I do that, remember to support the tempo with your likes. Any kind of thumb will do. Also remember to check the description box. That's another way to support the temple. On ways to book a reading as well as the links below. And you have DISH. I don't know, is it DISH Nation? <laughs> Dish, knick knack, patty whack, give a dog a bone. The letter J may be of significance to you this week. And I'm hearing like, get what's mine out of this. Get what's mine. A friend may be involved in this. friend may be, somebody you consider a friend may be feeding you information food for thought even this may be why you be here stuck in your thoughts considering that but also when I deal with the, I see this dog in the dish. You know, I know that dogs are selfish and greedy. They will eat your food, but they don't want you. They don't want to share their food. And I feel like that energy is in this. I don't know if it's got to be with the person. They don't want you to have nobody, but they want to do their thing. I don't know. This is crazy to me. And I'm going to leave it on that note. Thank you so much. No, I'm not going to leave it there. Let me get you Let me get you a written word, okay? I was about to cut out, wasn't I? You, you got me. Got my head spinning. That's why I need y'all to get on in the premieres. You know, get your, get, get, get your views and your participation up so we can dabble a little bit deeper into these energies. All right, let's do that. Girl, man. For others of you, I'm hearing that whoever this Eight of Swords is, they stuck. They're trying to figure out how to get to you because of this isolation. This self-absorbedness, keeping it all to yourself, staying to yourself. I'm trying to figure out how it's going to work out. Now, how is this going to work? You don't want to be bothered. <laughs> oh, no. 
You know, Dish Nation deals with gossip. Mm. You know, opinions about certain people and, you know, things in life. Also, with celebrities, you know. So you could be a celebrity in the house. Well, it says, "Tis better to have love and lost than never to have loved at all." Alfred Lord Tennyson. Mm, this is about some feelings. That decision is going to be made, and I'm going to leave it on that note. Thank you so much. Talented ones and cup barriers for tuning into the Talent Temple once again for your work, money, and romantic guidance. You know I can't wait to bring you another one. But until then, as always, remember to walk by faith and by sight. Till next week, hotel, which means peace be unto you.